Pitch out to Smith, he's got the corner and the end zone. Touchdown. Over the middle, he's got his receiver, White. Makes a good move. He's gonna go all the way at the five. Touchdown. On to return is Hummage. He's got Smith to beat. Can he get to the end zone? Touchdown. Going to the corner, wrap up there, and he makes a catch. Touchdown. What a grab. We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings try to break into the win column against Manitowoc. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris South coming in tonight 0-3. Uh, they've really been a disappointing disappointment, but uh, Manitowoc doesn't have a real good team. I mean, South stands a real good chance of winning a ball game. Yeah, a lot of statements you said right there. First of all, the RF, or the Fox River Valley Conference it's just not that great of a conference this year. And, you know, you got to take little steps to do things here. Yes, South's been disappointing. Yes, it's all bad. But, you know, you got to forget about that stuff. You got to just think about little things. And let's just, instead of thinking about winning a conference championship, make it to the playoffs, let's just take care of business at home. Because after today, you got, you know, basically most of your games are on the road, you know, and you, the home games are starting to disappear. Manitowoc comes in with only one win. They beat North last week, uh, but they're noted for an outstanding running game. And uh, this year, their quarterback is thrown for over 300 yards. That concerns me. I know when we talked about it before going on, it didn't seem to concern you quite as much. No, I thought about that, too. One of the things in the paper said that Chris Casper, their quarterback, who also plays baseball for Manitowoc, he's got over 300 yards passing. But, you know, if you think about that over three games, it's only 100 yards a game, so it's not that bad. Another thing is kind of misleading again. Uh, Mantuoc plays some really tough non-conference games. They play Cedarburg and Homestead, who's a perennial powerhouse. So, you know, they always prep themselves early. They always seem to take on really tough teams. They used to take on the Moconomwoks and things like that. Um, so they, they always prep very well and are, are prepared. And yes, they beat North 27 to nothing last week. And they do run the wing tee, which, you know, again, it's going to see what that front line defense does. Because, again, we've been talking about it all year. seems like there's just too many individual people tackling instead of getting a uh, whole team effort on defense. One of the things that's been uh, killing North all year has been the big play, and we saw it uh, last week uh, against Notre Dame. They need to uh, batten down the hatches. Yeah, one of the things right on my little script here is stop the big play. You're right, Marty. Stop the big play is right. It seems like quick strikes the last couple weeks against Hartford, uh, and, of course, we saw it last week against Notre Dame. Quick strikes. They seem to, you know, good things, good things are happening on defense, and all of a sudden, something all of a sudden breaks right through, and then it goes right through, and it's a big score. You're right, Marty. Well, we're going to check out, take a short break. When we come back, we'll have the opening kickoff and the starting lineups for tonight's game. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. 3,000 community heat stations across the country where 1.2 million volunteers produce over 20,000 hours of programming each week. Current legislation threatens to eradicate these stations by dramatically reducing funding. In the legislation's current form, stations across the country will lose 35 to 50 percent of their funding, which would bring production to a grinding halt. Contact Congress and tell them to vote no on H.R. 5252. Speak out now or lose your voice. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learnandserve.gov to find out how. At South High School, I think when we uh, signed off follow, following the opening, I mentioned North High, Brian was telling me, but uh, no, we're at South High. A lot of red tonight, and they're introducing uh, the Manitowoc ships. Let's go through the Manitowoc, uh, pardon me, the, the Sheboygan South offense. I didn't get the Manitowoc defense, that's what they're announcing now, but we're going to go through the South High offense. Starting at quarterback will be number seven, Taylor Schwartz. Starting at a wide receiver will be Travis Brunette, number 14. We're not sure if uh, Nick Wilson is back or not. No, he's not. Not back. Also starting as a wide receiver is number 15, Matt Mertz. There you see the Red Wings getting ready for their introduction. At a running back will be number 37, Ray Smith. Number 62, David Valdez will be in the line along with Ryan Lawrence, number 66. Ryan was the uh, longtime bat boy for the Sheboyganese. Number 75, Eric Brunig. Number 76, Mike Reimer. Number 78, Tyler Cartwright. 
are all in linemen. The other wide receivers are uh, Zach Duquette, number 82, and Andy Lancer, number 99, really would be a tight end type uh, player. Also uh, lines up in the backfield and goes in motion to do blocking on the one back set. But uh, that's the starting offense for uh, Sheboygan Salt. Manitowoc, like we said, comes in with one win and two losses. Their lone win coming last week in conference against North. Uh, South starts conference play 0-1, they're 0-3 on the year. So this is uh, an important game in more than one way. Yeah, and they not need to start picking up some momentum. And uh, like I said earlier, you know, now they have to start going on the road after today and really like to get a win here at home. Got a couple things I thought about driving over and last couple days thinking about this South High team. A couple things I'd like to see tonight. How about get ahead? Play from ahead, which leads to the next thing, which means you can play with a little confidence. And uh, that's something I think the South High team needs is a little confidence. And you know you're a good football team. You just got to show it out on the field. Uh, a couple other things here you see Coach Pfeiffer. A uh, couple things on offense that we didn't talk about in the opening. Ray Smith does have 365 yards, but three of those, or excuse me, two of them that we saw were big, big runs. So he's not getting a lot of a lot of big things there. We, I'd those, like to see. those two runs, he's almost got half his yards. Right, I'd like to see more uh, six yard gains and set up like second and shorts. Uh, that would really help a little bit on offense. They also found a little weapon in Zach Duquette last week who had, I believe, like 10 catches. I think it was 11, but anyway, he's got, uh, yeah, he's a, he was a target and uh, Taylor felt very comfortable throwing to him. And again, the other thing I want to see more is the number 99. I see Andy Lancer in the uh, mix tonight. Shane Diedrichs back deep, but taken by the short man, and he slipped down. He's going to be down. He should be down. How can they let him get up and run? Yeah, you know what the thing there was, Marty, he fell down, and he had the ball in his grasp, so he should have been down back there. But uh, On the return was uh, Richard Zakow. It's going to be first and 10 Manitowoc. The other thing I was thinking about, Chris, that would really help South is uh, get some sustained drives. You know, let the offense be, you know, make up a little bit for your defensive shortcomings. There you see Chris Hine. A lot of times they say a best defense is a good offense. First and 10 Manitowoc, ball spotted on the 27-yard uh, line. And here I thought we weren't going to be biking on the officials so much this week. Yeah. <laughs> well, last week was a bad week. The weather was bad, officiating got bad, and the score got out of hand. Well, and, uh, I'm not so concerned, con uh, convinced that they were bad, bad officiating. Up the middle, not much going there for uh, Casey Meyer. Matter of fact, he loses a yard. Second down and 11. Not a cloud in the sky this week. Last week we had that lightning delay. The wind is uh, basically nothing. There's no flag movement whatsoever. On the sweep, trying to get around the corner was Travis Scarta, but he was hit deep in the backfield also. South really had it red that time. Yeah, they swarmed and uh, there was uh, Anthony Hoytink there, Steve Bakhti. Those are those linebackers that have been real tough all year. But that's the kind of stuff we talked about in the opening. You got to have that swarm red defense that, uh, you know, that's what we saw there. You can't even tell who the uh, initial tackler was because there was five red shirts there. This is third and a long way, Marty. Casper at quarterback, drops straight back, short drop, fires it over the middle, incomplete. Intended receiver was Tyler Schrader, and it's going to be a three and out. I think Casper's the punter too, isn't he? Yep. That's what I like to see, Coach Hine applauding that defensive stand. That's, you should have good field position here, pending the punt. Ray Smith is back deep, the lone setback. Chris Casper, the quarterback, is also the punter. Not much of a rush, his kick is away. Heading over towards the sideline and rolls out of bounds at about the 46 yard line. See where they spot it. Spot it, uh, yes, at the 40, just over the 45. 
Great field position for the Red Wings here, and comes senior Taylor Schwartz out to uh, address the troops. They're looking for a football. South at the line, ready to run, but uh, no ball available. We're gonna call it the 46 yard line. Three backs back there, Chris. A little different formation for South. Ray Smith, the deep back, piles up for about three or four yards. Gain a three. Second and seven. Ball spotted on the 49 yard line. South looking for their first one of the year. Had a great stand to open the ball game. Let's see if they can mount the drive. It's second and seven. Short, short drop, pops it over the middle of Lancer and he's got him. Chris wow. raising his hand and he likes to see Lancer get involved in the offense. He had Ab no catches last week. Absolutely, big target, three year starter. 230 pounds, 6'4 kid Andy Lancer. Get him in the mix. Pick up a nine yards on the play. And a first down. Smith alone setback, a stretch play to the left, cuts it back, Collins up the middle. Off tackle actually gets it down to the 35 yard line. Nice run by Ray Smith and good blocking on the left side. You got that right, good blocking is right. Eric Bruning and Matt Mertz created a huge hole on this side. You had three receivers over here and nice running lane there for Smith to run through there. Even Marty, I think you could have gotten through that hole. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Second down and three. And off to Smith, off tackle. He had a great block out there by Hoytink. Took that uh, defender right out of the play and Smith with a big burst. Got some nice yardage on that play. Yeah, I saw that too, Marty. That was a good burst. He saw that opening and just quick got to that hole. And another south first down. Pick up a five by Smith. White Tank and Diener, the up backs. Smith, the deep back. Smith up the middle. Barrels forward for about four or five yards. There's that uh, chunks of yardage you were looking for. Instead yeah. of the one big play, they're getting it in uh, nice solid chunks. Yeah, I like second and short a heck of a lot better than what they've had in the last couple of weeks. It's been second and 12 or second and 13 or second and eight and penalties and Things like that, so far, so good. Ball spotted on the 25 yard line, it's second and five. Salt intent on pounding it, Smith stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that play. It's gonna be third down and five. Actually lost about a half a yard on that play. Yeah, I was watching Taylor Schwartz just get popped there almost unnecessarily there. He handed it off and uh, Kyle Bond in there followed through and really gave him a cheap pretty whack there. Taylor, uh, pardon me, Taylor Billman is the uh, wing to the right. Hoytink is the up back, Smith the deep back, fake handoff. Nice pass to Lancer, he's got the catch down near the 15 yard line. Well, they threw the Lancer once last week, and now they've got him twice this week for receptions. First and 10 south. Hey, you go to the store, buy something, you like it, you go back. They saw Lancer before, and they did that again. Uh, we might have a penalty on the play, Chris. Looks like it is. Legal procedure. Too bad. There's that penalty. Ball is spotted now on the 30 yard line, five yard penalty. 
Still gonna be third down, but now it's gonna be third and 10. Two wide receivers off to the let, left. Duquette is in the slot. Hand off to Smith. He's not gonna go anywhere. He's gonna be hit for a loss. Loss of two on the play. Hey, interesting, huh, coach? Thought they'd have been passing. I thought they would have been passing. Absolutely. Fourth down and 12. So now in their tweener situation too, I wouldn't. You know, hardly, hardly pays the punt, but if you can uh, down it inside the 10 or so, might be worth it. Looks like they're sitting there gonna take a five yard penalty and then gonna punt. We're at the uh, 625 mark of the first quarter. There's no score. That's what they're gonna do is they're gonna take a five yard penalty, I think, here and then punt. <laughs> How many seconds do they have before they get to snap the ball? It seemed like an awful lot. 30, long I think, is what they get. Okay. You know. <laughs> Matwalk does the right thing here and they decline the penalty. <laughs> Good idea. So much for that. You know, Tink is back. I'm not, if you're gonna punt, you're gonna punt. I mean, this is high school. I mean, Tony doesn't just hammer him. He can, he normally averages about 30 yards. I've been keeping track the last week. See, it's just perfect. A little pooch punt, good coverage down there by South. And the ball's gonna be downed around the five yard line. Sometimes. Downing the ball was uh, Nate Zittle. Good job there, Chris. I think the best thing is, to, you know, is <laughs> laid to rest. I, I thought he was just perfect where he was by the time he punted the ball and what not, so turned out all, all for the better there. Ball is gonna be placed down at the five yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 Manitowoc. They didn't uh, do anything their first possession. As a matter of fact, in the three plays, they lost five yards. Well, we've been here for two home games, second possession, Hartford and Notre Dame both scored. They forced them to punt both times and then they scored. Let's see if we get a stop. On the sweep was Shane Diedrichs, and uh, he got loose, got it out over the 20, near the 25 yard line. It's gonna be about a 20 yard gain. There he is coming right at the camera. Good job, Brian, and out of bounds. Yeah, Coach Hine there wondering where outside contain was. Ball's at the 27 yard line. Pick up a 17 yards on that play. Well, like I was saying, Hartford and Notre Dame, you both get forced punts, and then the second drive they scored. So we got to get some, here's a consistency thing here. We got to get a stop. Hand off up the middle. And running back is not going anywhere. You see who that running back was? Believe. No. On the carry was number 22. Case Meyer. Yeah, no gain on that play either. Yeah. It's going to be second and 10, ball on the 27. Good front four defense there. Hey, another thing I like in here too is Andy Lancer's in on oh, D. He's got his receiver out to the 45 yard line. Good pass and catch. Making the reception was uh, Adam Mishler. Yeah, Andy Lancer, I see he's playing some defense too. That's a good thing. A nice pitch and catch here from Casper. The lefty. 18 yard pickup. First and 10 ball on the 45, just over the 45. Getting around the corner, slipping by one tackler was uh, Shane Diedrichs. And a nice pickup into South Territory at about the 46 yard line. Well, well they're sweeping right, Marty, and there's a lot of lead blockers out there, but uh, again, a missed tackle. And here's a second and short for Manti, which 
They started this drive way back, what, on the four? Five? Five yard line. Started with a 17 yard run, an 18 yard pass, and now a nine yard run. Good job, Andy uh, Lancer. Lancer. Slips by the tackler and makes the tackle, or the blocker, pardon me, and makes the tackle. The runner was Travis Scarta, and he lost quite a bit, Chris. He lost five yards. How about that? Make a good big play, come out, get a drink of water. Good job. Right to the bubbler he goes. I guess they don't bubblers anymore, they got water bottles. Way back when we played, Marty, had those water things on the side with the hoses. <laughs> They had those long troughs and the water would fly up. Yeah, yeah. Third down and six. Fake handoff. Casper out. The left-hander looking, fires deep. He's got a man out there, he makes the catch. And he's down, touchdown. Shane Diedrichs got by the defense and made the long catch and scored. Another long play, South has given up. Well, Marty, I thought when Casper was rolling towards the right, he was in a lot of trouble because he had to throw back lefty across the grain, and that ball hung up there a long time. And uh, like you said, just got behind the south defensive back, and uh, there you see it. And in the end zone it goes. Kick is up and good. With 3.57 remaining in the first quarter, Manitowoc jumps out on top, seven to nothing. United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. We're back. Manitowoc just uh, drove it 95 yards for a score. The last play being the 51 yarder. Smith and Hoytink are back deep for the Red Wings. Getting ready to kick off is Adam Palmer Aline. Taking on the 15, fake the reverse, Hoytink keeps it. Oh, he's hitting Pop, but he stays on his feet and he gets to the outside and he gets it out over the 40 yard line. Is Great that, balance by Anthony Hoytink. Is that all you got? <laughs> <laughs> Here you see it, what a play by oh, Anthony Hoyt. He stays right on his feet. They don't call him Squanto for nothing. <laughs> oh. I think he uh, can leg press more than anyone else on the team. And he's, I've said before the last couple weeks, the kid's a heck of a pitcher. Ball on the 43, first and 10 south. Wide receivers left and right. Stretch play to Smith, he drops the ball. Picked up by Manitowoc. At the 42 yard line, the ball was picked up and returned by number 46, Jacob King. Not a good exchange there between Schwartz and Smith here. You'll see it right from the get go. You know there's something gonna happen bad here. Whoop. Never. Got it together, and uh, just like that, bad turnover. Mantwalk's got the ball inside the 35 here, Marty. Ball spotted on the 33, it's first and 10. South needs a stop. Back goes right up the middle. Casey Meyer with a good burst. They sent the... Uh, 
Left wing in motion to the right, and that threw South off a little bit. They had a quick trap in the middle. Yep, just Meyer with a quick burst. Yep, just a simple play. Just need to create a little seam there. Second and short again for the ships. Second down, make it two yards. Meyer again bursts through, slipped by a tackler and gets it down to the 20-yard line. No, he's running real low to the ground, Marty. Hanging yeah. onto that ball like it's, you know, his life depends on it. Two hands on the ball and just plunking forward and big positive yards, that's for sure. First and 10 ball on the 20-yard line. Manitowoc on the move again. Fake the handoff. Casper rolling, firing. He's got his man down near the near the end zone. Not getting in, but making the catch was Casey Meyer. I'll tell you, that play right there is made for Casper. You know, where he fakes it and he gets the roll to the left and throw. Yeah, and that's where the wing tee sets it up, Marty, and toss a coin there to his I believe uh, Scarta was available on the left and a receiver over the middle. And he had a choice of two guys, I believe, to throw to that time. And uh, he, you know, completed that pass right up the middle. And 19 yard pickup down to the one yard line. Timeout south. We'll take a short break with 2.14 remaining in the first quarter. Manitowoc on top, seven to nothing. People are taking the national radon test. Have you? Answer true or false. Radon is a radioactive gas. False. True. It's true? It's a natural gas? The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. Uh, false. False. True. true. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. False. It's true. Oh, I'm totally surprised. I've never looked for it. I don't even know where they're going to have it checked. 1-800-SOS-RADON. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will. So, back at South High School, Manitowoc uh, took the ball earlier in the quarter on the five yard line and uh, marched at 95 yards for a score. After the ensuing kickoff on the first play from scrimmage, South fumbled the ball, Manitowoc picked it up in great field position at the 33 and right now they have first and goal on the one yard line. The big play in this uh, short field Possession for Manitowoc was a 19 yard pickup. Casper to Meyer. And that leads us to where we are right now. Meyer near the end zone, tried to lean forward. Pardon me, Diedrichs that was. And he didn't quite get in. Wow, I thought he leaned over there, Marty. There you see a good spot there by Brian. Good camera shot there. Steve Reiner up on top, giving you that shot. Brian Andrews on the sideline. Kerry Coutzer spinning the dial on the truck. My partner is Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin bringing you tonight's uh, football game. Casper under center. Hands off to his fullback. He's short. Well, they like to work to that right side there, and they've had a lot of success, but uh, so far, the South High uh, Red Wings have been denying that little situation over there. That was Meyer on that last carry. Chris came up short. I tell you, they can't get much closer than they are right now. Oh boy. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they do the old quarterback sneak with Casper. That's what I'd be looking for here. Meyer is the back right behind him. He drops back. Rolls, he's got a receiver wide open in the end zone. Making the catch was Eric Huckins, number 85 from Casper. Marty, that's one of those deals as a receiver, you're so open. Yeah, really, just you, don't drop it. You know how he was too, and he felt, just don't, you know, he's just <laughs> like so nervous. I gotta hang on, you know, this was just too simple, but a big score and deja vu from a week ago. Cannot Please. believe this second situation, you know, last week we had a fumble on the kickoff and uh, 
This time we have a fumble on the first play after it, and again, South's gonna find themselves. Down two touchdowns. Two touchdowns, just like a week ago. Kick is a moon ball, and no good. There you see the touchdown play again. With 52 seconds remaining in the first quarter, man, it's walk up 13 to nothing. Does peace really have a chance within our lifetime? At Rotary, we believe it does. We've created programs at universities around the world, dedicated solely to teaching peace. Back at South High, Elaine getting ready to kick off again. His kick goes to uh, Hoytink, he gets, has it on the 20, hands it off this time on the reverse. Smith hit but stays on his feet and he gets it up to the 26. Not much of a return on that, Chris. No, short kick and uh, as you said, on the reverse, Mantwalk did a nice job there of staying home and uh, Gotta cover your lanes, right? Yep. Well, we're gonna, it's right between the 25 and the 26, so we'll call it the 25 yard line. Ray Smith, the lone setback. We have trips off to the right. Stretch play, this time Smith gets a handoff trying to slip through. Uh, little or no gain on that play. Manitowoc stretching it out. Gives Smith one yard. Second down and nine. Well, such a nice opening drive by South that didn't get anything. You stop them on loss on that drive and Things were going so well, it's just hard to believe at the end of the first quarter, you're gonna be trailing by two touchdowns. Down to 10 seconds and counting. Duquette in motion. Schwartz straight back, rifles one up the middle. Nice catch made out there by Travis Brunette. Ooh, that was a rocket. And that's the end of the first quarter. There you see it, replay. Bango, nice, nice job guys, Gary. Good one. Well, at the end of one quarter of play, Manitowoc leads it 13 to nothing. We'll be right back. Play a game. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. There are over 3,000 community heat stations across the country where 1.2 million volunteers produce over 20,000 hours of programming each week. Current legislation threatens to eradicate these stations by dramatically reducing funding. In the legislation's current form, stations across the country will lose 35 to 50 percent of their funding which would bring production to a grinding halt. Contact Congress and tell them to vote no on H.R. 5252. Speak out now or lose your voice. Back at South High School, it's first and 10. South ball on the 37 yard line. Smith on the handoff, takes it off tackle left and barrels out over the 40. Short of the 44, but over the 43. So a gain of six. Good gainer there. Use that big offensive line. Work on that Mantua group up there. Ball slipped out of Taylor's hands and goes over the head of Zach Duquette. 
First pass attempt, I think, to Duquette tonight, huh? Yep. They did a lot of stuff with him last week. Little flare patterns, you know, out of the motion and giving him some balls and different things like that. Zach Duquette was a real positive a week ago. Third down. I think to go with three receivers here, Marty. Yep, and Lancer. Duquette in the slot. Smith the lone setback, short, straight back. He has time, fires one, and over the head of uh, Zach Duquette, incomplete. Well, Mantua came on the blitz. The line did a very nice job there. Taylor just let Duquette a little bit too much, kind of like a flood route down to the right here. And uh, White Tank back to punt. His kick is away. And he gets a little bit of a good bounce. Rolls inside the 25. Be first and 10 Manitowoc. They're gonna spot it at the 23 yard line. Well, here's the fourth possession already for the ships. First of the second quarter here. They've uh, really done a nice job of mixing things in now and they have. Uh, and that will Casper was four for five in that first quarter passing and that 51 yarder really chunked it up. He's got uh, 70, 89 yards in that first quarter passing. Motion there. But I, that does too is you just can't, you know, watch the run. You got to watch the pass and you know, really you, you got uh, the South defense on their toes right now because like I said, everything that Mantwalk's done the last couple drives have been successful. So uh, play it straight and see what happens here. Like I said you can't really cheat up the box for the run and or hesitate back on the uh, pass. And either way, uh, things could open up yet for the ships. There he moves it up. I was going to say it was only a four yard penalty till he moved it up an extra yard. First and 15 for Manitowoc following that uh, penalty. Handoff to the first back and he slipped by the defense and that was Casey Meyer and they really caught South off guard there. I think they were looking second back and he just handed it to the first back, Meyer. Yep, wing T. A lot of people to watch. First and 10 minutes walk. Here you'll see it, watch. Again, South just caught, thought it was going up. Well, yeah, just picked up a good block from uh, C.J. Gordon, number 50. Ball spotted on the 35-yard line. That was a 17-yard pickup, Chris. Pass is incomplete. Intended receiver was uh, Mishler. You know, another thing, uh, not a lot of pressure on Casper. He seems to be pretty comfortable in the pocket back there behind his big boys. Got to get him knocked down a couple times, get a little pressure on him. When you're running the ball as effectively as Manitowoc is, it's really hard to get pressure because you don't never know what they're going to be doing. Correct, because you're playing run first, and that's why I said they've mixed things up very well and has South on their toes right now. Fake to uh, Meyer, deep pass, hangs up there. Receiver comes back but can't make the catch. Coming back to make a play on the ball was Kyle Reuter and he helped break up that pass play. I don't know if we have that one on replay but that was an awesome job by Casper, the quarterback there. Here you see it, watch him put it on his hip. Whoop, you don't know where it is. He did get hit after he threw it though. Yep. But uh, he did a nice job of faking, and thanks, Kerry, for that. But uh, uh, that was a floater there, and South again a little bit slow getting to that ball there. Third down and 10. Big play here for the Red Wings. They want to stop Manitowoc, get the ball back. Oh, 
There you go. Hey, sacked by South. In on the stop was big number 55, Brad Brookins. Hey, a little pressure, 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 pressure. Look what happens there. Good there job by the Red Wings. Again. Hoytink also in there. Check that out. Number 52 was the uh, sacker, Lucas Bannock. Ball back at about the 27 yard line. Ray Smith on the return took it at about the 43 yard line. Flags all over the field. Holding. Illegal block out yeah. there. I think there was a hold, illegal block. May have two penalties on that one. Bottom line, it can only take one. There it is, legal block. So instead of having it over midfield, you're gonna be back again around the 38, 39 yard line, which isn't horrible, but, but <laughs> like you're giving up 10 yards and just on those penalties, they had a penalty before when they completed that ball to Lancer, cost them a you know, big first down and now we had a, another one here. Just uh, bad, bad breaks for South. Ball is gonna be spotted. It'll be first and 10. Ball spotted on the 39 yard line. Full house backfield, Smith the deep back. He takes the handoff as he has all night and powers forward. We get another flag in the middle of the pile. It'll probably be a blocking foul on South. Holding. That's the fourth penalty on South, Chris. How many on Mantwalk? Uh, one. So last week, too, Notre Dame didn't have many penalties and Boy, oh boy. Ball is moved back to the uh, 26 yard line. They've lost 26 yards because of penalties. Taylor hits Zucat, fights past one tackler, but can't elude the other three that are there. And he's hit at about the 35 yard line. Pickup of about nine yards on the play. Good play there. Oh, my comment there, Marty, you had Ray Smith at, you know, the 48-yard line and, you know, basically 26 yards worth of penalties it cost you yards. And uh, we used to say this every year, it's so difficult for teams to drive the ball down the field, so you always want to move them back or field position is always big. Well, that's what they're doing is giving themselves long, long drives. Three receivers off to the right. They give it to Smith going right again, coming up and making a nice hit was number 24, Shane Diedrichs, their uh, running back. Smith gets the ball up to the 37 yard line to pick up a three. Taylor right down the middle. Oh, Lancer on a great catch. He had a defender go right in front of him. Actually, I thought tipped the ball and Lancer, great concentration, hung on. Yeah, Lancer tipped it basically to himself and a big pop by Morgan O'Connell, but it wasn't enough here. You're gonna see it. Taylor Schwartz drops back. Again, we're looking for number 99. And boom, there you see O'Connell hit him, but good job, number 99. Big first down and now we're back to where we started. 15 yard pickup. Hand off to Smith, cuts it back inside. It's a scrum. And Smith gets it up to about the 45 yard line. So pick up a three. Give him a pick up a two. 
Be second and eight. And off to Smith, he eludes one tackler that was tripped up in the backfield, but then he only gets it down to about the 44 yard line. So not much of a gain there, Chris, only two yards. There you get a great shot from Brian. You see a little cross blocking in the middle by the line, but uh, Manitowoc had it plugged up quite well. It's going to be third down, about seven yards to go. Taylor dropping back. He's got a receiver, but uh, he was under pressure and got hit as he threw, and the pass goes incomplete. Oh, I thought that was very well covered by Manitowoc. You only had one wide receiver out. You had the backs in there, and I thought Manitowoc covered that pretty darn well there, Marty. It had to be a perfect play, and you're right. The pressure by the ships there caused that, and going to force uh, the Red Wings to punt this ball away here. Anthony Hoytink going to punt again. Back is uh, Diedrichs at the 10. He comes up, lets it go. Thank oh, you, oh, thank oh, you, oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, roll into the end zone. Great hustling effort down there by uh, three Red Wing players. Charlie Rissi, Brent Jacobs. And I didn't get the number of that last guy, Chris, unfortunately. Might have been... Uh, Mentioned Jacobs, but uh, anyway, first and ten, Manitowoc on the 20 yard line. It's 13 to nothing, 6-16 remaining until halftime. Not the thing you want to do if you're Manitowoc there, you want to catch that ball at the 10. Well, yeah. Not let it roll down there. Break for the ships again. Inside reverse, and he hit and dropped was uh, Travis Scarda. Scarda's had a tough go of it tonight, Chris. He hasn't gained many yards. Jeff Zelko staying home, good job. No place to go is right. Scarda in the first quarter had uh, two carries for a minus nine yards and he gets hit for a loss of two there. And uh, that's good defense uh, by South because the, the key to that whole offense, Chris, is that inside reverse. That's where he can really uh, make a killing and uh, South shut that off. Good job. Second down and 12. Scarta in motion again. Casper looking over the middle. He's got his receiver. He's got the first down. Making the catch was uh, number 22, Casey Meyer. Again, a pretty good job of Casper there, hiding that ball. Getting his feet set. He's got quick little feet there. He runs a little bit in baseball. He can steal some bases and stuff too and uses those quick feet there, sets and throws. And again, 17 yard pickup on that play too, Chris. First and 10. Now over the wrong shoulder of the intended receiver, pass goes incomplete by Casper. And one of the officials got knocked down pretty good there, Marty. Oh boy. And he's still down. This is not a good thing. That guy there has the worst job of all the officials because he's the one that's right there. In the middle. Yeah, watching all the, the blocking. And sometimes there's uh, linebackers going to the left and there's you know tight ends and things coming out of the backfield. He's up and moving. That's a good thing. You know, you think it hurts now. Wait till tomorrow morning. <laughs> Sit back at 10 o'clock and watch us. Sit on the couch and watch us. Have it wherever you're from directed into where you are. I think that's what Dave Flynn is doing right now, sitting on his couch having a mug of root beer watching the game. 
Meyer on the return on the uh, sweep. Oh, he runs over tacklers. Good, strong, pardon me, Shane Dietrichs on a strong run. Boy, oh boy. More missed tackles, Marty. <laughs> He's got that right. Another first down for Manitowoc. Two ball is spotted on the 47 yard line. Make it the 46. Time out of the south, left. Marty. Jeez. Time out south with 4.59 remaining until halftime. Manitowoc leads it 13 to nothing. How do you convince a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. There you see the zebras huddling. Those are not the zebras huddling, but they are huddling. Waiting for something exciting to happen. Next week, uh, TV8 will be at uh, Sheboygan North where they host uh, Green Bay Southwest. All right, first down and 10. Casper rifles a throw to his wide receiver. Adam Mishler who makes a real nice catch at the 45 of South High. It's gonna be just short of the first down, Marty. It's up second and uh, very, 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 very short. Second pass completion of the quarter for uh, Casper. Diedrichs is the wing on the left side. Inside handoff to Scarta, he breaks through the middle. He's hit and dropped inside the 40 yard line, but he has enough for the first down. Ball spotted at the 38 yard line. Pick up a seven yards for Scarta. Need to make a stand, there's four minutes and counting in the, in the half. Don't wanna give them another score. Dietrichs and Meyer, fake, Casper rolling, looking, firing. He's got his receiver who comes back and makes a real nice catch. Mischler again. Very nice job by that young man. Mischler coming back for the ball is right. See where they spotted it. Might be a first down, it might not. Yeah, they're moving them down, it's a first down. That was a real nice play, Marty. Exactly 10 yards on the play. Casper threw it right where he's supposed to and Mitchell comes back to the ball. Pickup of 11, let's call it. Casper under center, he's felt comfortable throwing the ball tonight. Hand off to Diedrichs. He slips by one tackler, and gets uh, knocked down near the 20 yard line. Kid's a strong runner. Yep, but again, they had him hog tied in the back and field and they just can't get him down. <laughs> the way we're going here, another long drive for Manitowoc. Ball spotted uh, at about the 21 yard line, a pick up a six by uh, Diedrichs. Meyer right behind Casper, the quarterback, scarred in motion. They give it to uh, Meyer up the middle, but he's hitting, dropped after a very short gain. Point tank. Anthony Hoytink uh, making that uh, sudden stop. He's a hitter. He's been everywhere all season, that kid. 
He has been all over the field. Third down and three. Ball spotted right. Just a little bit short of the 20. Casper ducks under center. He drops straight back, rifles a throw to his wide receiver. Mishnerl makes a nice spin move, gets it down inside the 10 before he's knocked out of bounds. Mishler is a force on this drive, Chris. Yeah, and again, just good work. They just know what to do and where to be. And uh, again, there's Hoytink saving the day, but they are just clicking with that passing game. 11 yard pickup. And Casper uh, is hot. He's hit on his last uh, three passes. First and goal ball on the nine yard line. Casper wants a timeout. They weren't sure. With 1.45 remaining until halftime, Manitowoc knocking on the door at South's end zone. It's 13 to nothing right now. Hurricanes, tsunamis, wars, and earthquakes. Stories of disaster that dominate the news. Well, what happens after the headlines fade? I'm Lou Rawls, and I'm proud to be working with an organization that continues to help people long after the headlines fade. Church World Service helps people rebuild, recover, and put their lives back together. You can provide help and hope to people in need. Please give generously to the Church World Service today. Back at Salt High, there's the, uh, what's going on, the scoreboard. 145 remaining, guests on top 13 to nothing, ball on the nine, nine yard line. It is first and goal. Here we go. Diedrichs, no oh, inside handoff to uh, Meyer and he gets it down inside the nine yard line. He picks up a couple of yards, not much. But he did pick up positive yardage. Second and goal. Ball is spotted on the eight yard line. Only a one yard pickup, Chris. So a good stand there by South. Well, they're tight against that uh, back end zone too. So hopefully the defensive backs are cheating up a little bit. Fake handoff, Casper rolling, throwing, picking it off for South. What'd I say? Cheat up. Picking it off for South was Jamin Opkenorth. Pardon me, number 30, Charlie Rissy. Good job, Charlie. Big, big play there. Like I said, the defensive backs were always kind of playing back, and I thought with their backs to the end zone a little bit, here the defensive backs might have a bit of chance there, and there's just the kind of play that South needs. Good play is right, Marty. Ball is spotted at the 20. Good play by Charlie Rissy to step up and make that interception. Tailored back, he's got time. Now he's losing time, trying to elude the uh, pass rush, but can't, he's sacked back near the 12 yard line. Well, a little hitch and go there by Duquette and uh, the ships were not gonna be fooled by that. You know, with a minute left here and you know, basically 80 yards down the field. Good shot, there's Charlie, good job there by the junior. And uh, again, the ships were not fooled, and that's why that play was didn't develop very well, and uh, Schwartz got sacked. 25 seconds and counting. Taylor rifling one to Duquette. He's got the catch out over the 20-yard uh, line. 17, 16, 15, 14. Here's the replay. Just a quick drop and go. Maybe something you can use now in the second half. Six, five. Four. And you get the snap off. Taylor throws it out to Lancer. He makes a catch. Trying to get by that first tackler, but can't. Manitowoc swarming on defense. Make the stop. Lancer got it out to the 30 yard line. And that's halftime. Manitowoc on top, 13 to nothing.
words for you. Pop quiz. Ready? Name any funny movie. A drama. Name a mystery. And one more thing. Name the movie your kids saw today in science class. Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school. And know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. Is she thirsty or diabetic? Is he tired or arthritic? Subtle behavioral changes can be early signs of disease in pets. These changes are often less obvious in cats, which can be better than dogs at hiding illness. But a wellness exam from your veterinarian twice a year can help detect, treat, or prevent many health problems before they become serious. So call your veterinarian and schedule your pet's wellness exam today. from going outside? If chronic diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, or rectal bleeding are tying you to the bathroom, maybe it's serious, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. See a gastroenterologist. Early diagnosis can make treatment easier. Get on with your life. Get help. Get better. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. Dignity, hope, and one day, a cure. Contact us for a free information kit. There are over 3,000 community TV stations across the country where 1.2 million volunteers produce over 20,000 hours of programming each week. Current legislation threatens to eradicate these stations by dramatically reducing funding. In the legislation's current form, stations across the country will lose 35 to 50 percent of their funding, which would bring production to a grinding halt. Contact Congress and tell them to vote no. I pay taxes. I pay rent. I pay health club dues. I make car payments. We all have to pay for what we want. It's fair. Cable companies pay to deliver TV services, but phone companies dig up our streets and use our public property, yet don't want to pay. Congress is considering legislation that would give phone companies control of our public property. Call Congress now to stop legislation that will eliminate local control. Back at South High School, we're just about ready to uh, conclude the halftime festivities. Uh, Manitowoc rolled up 194 yards, 130 of those through the air on uh, 8 of 13 passing by Chris Casper. He also had one picked off, but he did have two touchdown passes. Uh, they had 64 yards rushing on 18 attempts. Their uh, big rusher in the first half was uh, Shane Diedrichs. He had 43 yards and five carries. South on the flip side, not much offense. They had 84 yards total, 62 through the air on six and nine passing by Taylor Schwartz. He was uh, humming pretty good. Uh, the rushing game was virtually non-existent. Uh, 
22 yards and 13 carries. Ray Smith had 12 carries for 30 yards. So they need to improve in a number of different areas, Chris. Yeah, one of the things I asked for at the beginning is, you know, big more production by Ray Smith than those uh, yardage uh, type thing situations. More like uh, six yard gain, six yard gain, six yard gain, but obviously that wasn't the situation too often again. Good news is, they're just down 13 to nothing. Basically the same score that North was down a week ago up there. Exactly the same. And I'll tell you that uh, Charlie Rissey's interception late in the first uh, half was a uh, key to uh, hopefully South's comeback win. Yeah. Ball is spotted on the 34 yard line. Let's see if they can get the running game moving. Hoytink is the up back throwing the block, the lead block for uh, Ray Smith, but he's hit right near the line of scrimmage, maybe picked up a yard at best. If it wouldn't have been for the one sack to uh, Taylor, he'd have had all the carries in the first half. Second down and nine. Well, South's got three TDs on the season so far, so they're gonna have to get three oh. in his half to win this pickle. Yeah, they're gonna have to get Cook in his, for sure. Maybe just two, but three for sure. Oh, Ray boy. Smith trying to bounce it to the outside, and then we get a late flag. Holding on South. Smith trying to stretch it to the right. Bounce it outside there, you get a close-up look of Taylor Schwartz. See what they decide here. It could be third and eight or second and 19. I think they're going to take the uh, penalty, though. Oh, boy. Ball is spotted on the 24-yard line. Makes it uh, second and 20. South or Mantua Blitz. Taylor knocked down inside the 15 yard line. Not much time there. Chris called it. Well, they, Second sack for him. Again, it's a, basically a chess match out there and Mantua knew that South was gonna be throwing so they decide to blitz and uh, forces south in a long, 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 long situation here. Three wide receivers off to the left. Taylor straight back, he's got time. Rifles a throw to Duquette, but uh, way off the mark. Two Manitowoc defenders were actually closer to the pass than uh, Zach Duquette was. And it's gonna be fourth down and a bunch. Ball spotted at about the 18 yard line. White Tank back in the punt again. His punt is away. Dietrich calls for the fair catch and makes it at about the 47 yard line. So Dietrich that was. Manitowoc's gonna have great field position, Chris. Yep. Just doesn't get any easier for South. Penalties, again, hurt them. And the sack. Meyer is the back behind Casper. Scarda. The other back, Meyer takes it, leans forward and gets into South Territory. Ball is gonna be spotted right on the 50 yard line to pick up a three. Casper still at the controls for Manitowoc. He had a nice first half. Hitting on eight of 13 passes for two touchdowns. Hand off to Diedrichs, slips by one tackler, but then uh, knocking him down was Kyle Reuter. 
at the 46 yard line. Pick up a four. Our next ball game is uh, next Friday night when Green Bay Southwest invades Sheboygan North. That'll be our first trip to the north side this season. Casper under center, gives it off to uh, Meyer, but he's hit immediately by Andy Lancer and knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Also in on the play was Jeff Zelko. Well, I'm gonna set up a punt now situation for the ships. They haven't punted very often tonight, Chris. I think one other time. Two. Casper is back to uh, punt it. Yeah. And back deep for uh, South is uh, Kyle Reuter. Good blocking up front. Casper's kick is away. Gets a good bounce. And it's gonna be downed at about the 17 yard line. Really not that great a kick, but uh, they still have South operating with a long field. Yeah, just 28 yards on the punt. Ball spotted on the 17 yard line. 83 yards away from pay dirt. We need a long run from uh, Ray. White Tinkins the up back, Ray Smith the deep back. Taylor Schwartz still at quarterback. Fake hand off to Smith, rifles one out to Hoytink. Tink. He makes the catch, cutting it back inside and is gonna get wrestled down over the 25 yard line. Well, the ball squirted away, but they're gonna call it down. Great play there by uh, Schwartz here. You're gonna see it. Well, maybe not, but uh, again, just a nice, Pass there, you see Schwartz play action. Throws a BB to Hoytink and he runs hard. Boom, 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 boom. Pulling ships with him. Setting up that second and short that we have to have. You get a good shot of Anthony. Smith the deep back. We got a full house backfield again. They've operated from this quite often. Smith cutting it up inside. He has enough for the first down. Gets it up over the 27. They needed to get to the 27. Well, I don't know, Marty. He's got it. Yep. Told ya. You doubt the guru? <laughs> don't doubt the guru. I just uh, didn't like where that official started heading I thought, back. I didn't think they get a, got a very good spot. No. It was up a little bit further than that. Yes. But we weren't going to rip on the officials this week. Correct. We've done pretty good, actually. Those guys last week didn't do a bad job. Yes, they did. <laughs> Taylor on a handoff to Smith, and uh, he's hit right at the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you, Manitowoc's defense is uh, not bending much. They're making it very tough to run the ball. In that first half, South only had 22 rushing yards and 13 attempts. That's a no gainer for uh, Ray Smith. He has two yards and three carries so far in the second half. Well, they keep going up the middle. I wish he'd go outside the tackles a little bit and get him out there. Hopefully he'll set something up here. Duquette in motion. That's what we little want. Little option play, they pitch it out to Smith. He's trying to get it outside, but uh, Manitowoc strings it out nicely. And give up only a couple of yards on the option play. Are they going to get a couple yards? They haven't moved the down marker yet. Looks like to be another flag on the yeah, play. Yeah, I was just wondering. Personal foul on South, another penalty. Talking to Manitowoc, you got to imagine they're going to take the penalty and push South back again. Penalties, penalties, penalties. You know, they're just always, you know, same situation last time. You're driving down the field, you got 
a uh, penalty on South, then they get sacked, and then you force that third and long, and it's tough for Taylor Schwartz to get to execute something. You know, here it is again. Now you're asking your quarterback to go second and basically about 30. 22 yards for the first down. Three wide receivers off to the left. Taylor rolling, hits a short man, making a nice catch and run was Travis Brunette, where he's wrestled out over the 20. Still gonna set up a third and 16. Ball spotted on the 22 yard line. That was a seven yard pickup. There's a stoppage in play here, Marty. I think Mantwalk still only has that one penalty. South must have about eight or nine. You get a great shot of Anthony. You can tell he's been working hard. Chris, his shoulder pads are showing on the rips on his jersey. Officials are probably discussing the downs, Marty. What do you have there? Third down. Third and 15. Well, I think because of that penalty, that personal foul after the play, they shouldn't get the down back, I think is what they're debating. And that's what they're gonna do, is they're gonna take that down back and make it fourth down. Because the personal foul happened after the play. So it should be fourth down. But you gotta tell, but you gotta tell Coach Fife for that before the previous down. Well, it's too late now. They aren't gonna let them, they're not, they won't do a do-over. That won't happen. But they're gonna make it fourth down. Yep. But, but they should have told him that it was second down that that's the situation. And uh, I'm not saying it's the wrong call, but it's the wrong call to be doing it now. Because yep. you should be setting up, if you knew it was third down and 26, you maybe not have thrown that pass per se. But uh, it's fourth down now. We're not going to do a do over. Nope. Anthony Hoytink back to punt. Short rest for Anthony. Got a little drink. Wipe your brow and run back out there. Dietrichs is back deep to receive the punt. Penalty flag down right away. Dietrichs coming up, calling for the fair catch and makes it at the 48 yard line. Now well, let's see what the penalty is. Could be offsides or motion. It's the only thing that's where that place is. No, it's motion. Let's see what Manitowoc does. If I was them, I'd decline a penalty and take the ball on the 47. I agree. Actually, they got it. They're going to give it to him on the 49. Yeah, I, get, I agree with you, Marty. They should decline it. Coach Pfeiffer is out in the middle of the field. Well, Dave is beside himself, to say the least. Chris Hine uh, wants a little it. more subdued as he talks to the uh, official. Just wants an explanation. It's still just 13 to nothing, South. 552, pardon me, 542 remaining in the third quarter. One big play and they're right back in the ball game. Not that they're out of it now, but they'd only be one score behind. Right now they're two touchdowns and two extra points away. South, bull your neck boys, come on. Inside handoff to Dietrichs, cuts it back. Slips by one tackler before he's finally wrestled down at about the 32 yard line. Jamin Oppen North there, he did a nice job fighting off blocks, fighting off blocks, still pursued. Here you're getting blocked. You know, he's out of the play and then he comes back behind and makes the tackle. That's what you gotta do, stay with it all the way. Good job there, uh, Jamin, on that play. But too many yards there, South. 19 on that play, Chris. You're right. First and 10, Manitowoc on the 32. Meyer, scarred in motion, hand off to Meyer up the middle, he's tripped up, slipping through. Making the tackle was Steve Bakhti. The entire third quarter has been played in the uh, south half of the field. You got that right.
It's gonna be second down and about six or so. Short six. You get a good shot of uh, Chris Casper. Short drop, rifles went over the middle. Good defensive play made by Kyle Reuter. Trying to mix things up there. The run's been going so well for the ships. I was a little surprised by that play, but uh, they've been kind of 50-50 the whole ball game. And again, you're right, that was a nice play there by Reuter. Well, the thing of it is, you know, third and six is makeable. You know, it's not too far, so you can take a chance on that pass on second down. Curious to see if this is two down territory, too, because they're inside their 30. So don't be satisfied with one stop, boys. You need two. Mischler doing the down and out. No, he got his man, Meyer, who makes the catch, and he's going to be knocked down near the 20-yard line. Making the stop was Charlie Rissey. And once again, all off of uh, play action. Casper freezes the play there. Here you're going to see it. You know, they just can't pursue. There's no pressure Meyer right whatsoever. underneath, going right through the middle, slipped underneath the defense. And he's knocked down. The ball is going to be spotted on about the 12-yard line. That was a 16-yard play. Inside handoff, no, a fake inside handoff. They give it to uh, Dietrichs, barrels into the end zone for a touchdown. Shane Dietrichs, not to be denied. We've seen that kind of running all night from that little number 24. He ran hard, Marty. He Look. did, ran right over a south tackler. Man, did he have a burst there for 16 yards. 16 yard play? I thought it was 12. Could have been 12, you're, you're right. And no, 13 that said the ball was on the 13th. Yeah, so. those guys don't know what they're doing, don't you're, they? You're right, though. <laughs> Casper's doing the holding. Uh, Scarda is the extra point person. His boot sneaks over the goal post between the uprights, and it's good. With uh, 4.05 remaining in the third quarter, Manitowoc leads it 20 to nothing. Two happy Southsiders. It's been a tough three home games this year so far. Been a tough four weeks of the season. Lost one on the road. Kick is away. Hoytink takes it on the 20, drops it, picks it up, and trying to fight forward, he does, but he's going to be hit and dropped at about the 28 or 29 yard line. It'll be first and 10 south. Does he ever stop fighting for every yard or? fighting through tacklers uh, or blockers to get to the ball carrier. Kid just goes, goes, goes. Brunette in the ball game along with Taylor Billman. Duquette is gonna be wide left. Brunette wide right. Billman the up back, Smith the deep back. Short straight back, trying to lob one to Duquette and it's gonna be incomplete. How can't there be interference there? Yeah, well, the ball wasn't catchable. Well, that's true, but he slowed down the runner down the field. I call that good defense. That's what I did to you tonight at basketball. Well, we were on the same team, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there was a reason I did that. I was to get another shot. <laughs> <laughs> Second down, 10 for South. Lone setback is Ray Smith. Three wide receivers in this set. Taylor rolling, rolling, looking, firing on a leaping pass. An attempt by Brunette is incomplete. Taylor got hit hard, but he bounces right back up. A 
Ooh. That could have been uh, a bad one, Chris. Yeah, off the deflection there. Yeah, almost intercepted. Third down and 10. You know, we talked about the Valley not being very strong and Manitowoc playing tough competition. <laughs> it works in reverse, you know. This, uh, they're showing what they're made of. Duquette passes intercepted, taken away from Duquette, running it down the sideline before he's knocked down is number 28, B.J. Boley, I believe it was. Yeah, he just wrestled away from Duquette there. And uh, here you'll see it. Might have been Eric Call, 26. Just slightly misplayed there from Duquette and uh, good root, root, uh, return there by Hall. Yeah, Eric Hall. First and 10, Manitowoc, ball spotted. Inside the 10, it's gonna be first and goal. Entered at about the seven. And off the scarta is fumbled. Casper gets it back in the in the uh, backfield. Ball goes back outside the 10. We'll call it the 12, I believe it is. Loss of five. First and goal, Manitowoc. And a nice interception and return by uh, Eric Hall. Put him in this uh, good spot. Second down. Wide receivers left and right. Mischler to the right. Swing pass to Scarta makes a nice over the shoulder catch. Slips by a tackler, dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Oh boy. And down on the field is Steve Bakhti, he's hurt. I didn't see what happened to him. Well, maybe we'll get a replay. Bakhti number 20 is down. He was one of the last guys to try for that last ditch effort there. Here you'll see it. Number 20, there you see him coming over. Uh, actually just dove right over. I think what he did was maybe hit uh, number four's cleat on his shoulder pad. It looks like he just shoe. Yeah, fell on his shoulder there. Well, Manitowoc making the most of their opportunities. Got the interception, was able to score a touchdown off of that turnover. Scarta now gets a, an opportunity to tack on the uh, extra point. So it could be a seven point trip for him. Got the touchdown. Looking for the PAT. Lines are set. Kick is uh, way off to the left. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> that was way. That was way left. Twenty-six to nothing, with two thirty-eight remaining in the third quarter. We'll be right back. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Back at South High School, Red Wings having uh, another tough week. 
Kickoff is taken by Hoytink, and he gets stuck and dropped at about the 36-yard line. That wasn't Anthony, Anthony Hoytink, that was uh, Jamin Opkenorth. Well, now in at quarterback, Marty, John Kabai for Sheboygan South. He plays baseball as well. Yeah, moved up uh, late in the season to the varsity. He played a lot of JV ball. Hand off to Smith, bouncing it to the outside. Slips by one tackler, slips by another tackler. He's in this Manitowoc territory near the 45-yard line. Nice run by Ray Smith. I like it when he gets outside. There you can see good, good running when he gets out there and just throws those uh, ships around like they're little tugboats out there. Longest run of the night for uh, Ray, a 17-yarder. Duquette wide to the right. Hand off, Smith got a good block on the corner there. Got it up to the 45-yard line. The hole looked a lot bigger. They closed it pretty quickly, but he did get the nice block on the corner. I agree, Marty. It Picked looked up. like there was gonna be a big big yeah. gap in there. And all right, all of a sudden, all those white, sh white ships are, white shirted ships are right there. Second down and eight. White Tink the up back. Duquette still wide. Now he comes in motion to the left. Hand off to Smith. A little stutter step and makes a quick cut up the middle. Uh, down to about the 41 yard line. Now they're gonna move it back to the 41, pick up a four yards. Duquette is wide left this time. Timeout, Sheboygan South. Their first timeout of the second half. Now looking at the schedule, we have some homecoming games coming, coming up also, Chris. Now next week we're at North, they play uh, Green Bay Southwest. Following that, September 29th, uh, we have a homecoming game. Preble will be at South for their homecoming. And then the week after that, first week of October, October 6th, Green Bay West will be uh, at North for their homecoming. And then following that, we have Cedar Grove at Lutheran. Lutheran Kohler, pardon me. And that'll be a tough game. Ooh. Cedar Grove has uh, got a nice outfit. Yeah, they do. And uh, I know our Ozaki's hanging tough. They've been doing very well. They actually meet tonight. Right. Uh, Ozaki and... Uh, Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove. No, Ozaki plays, I think, Random has got a nice program as well. And then uh, the last week of the season, we have a doubleheader. On Thursday, we, play, uh, we have the North-South game. That'll be played at North. And then uh, that, that weekend on Saturday, Concordia of Wisconsin invades, invades Lakeland. That'll be our final game of the season. And that's basically been the two teams the last few years battling for that conference as well. Third down and five, Smith cuts it up the middle. He's got the first down before he's wrestled down at about the 30 yard line. Good run by Ray Smith. First and 10 south. Those are the kind of holes that we anticipated all year. And now we're seeing it here on this drive. Lines are set, Kabai ducks under center. Their hand off to Smith, he tries to cut it back, but uh, Manitowoc right there to make the stop. Getting off the top of the pile was Wyatt Hootka. It's the last time I call her defensive players. <laughs> her names are too hard to pronounce. No gain for Ray Smith. H-R-U-D-K-A. Could it be Rudica? Good job, you can be the lead announcer. I'll do the commentary. <laughs> I'll be the color man. <laughs> You're much better with these uh, names. Goodbye, trying to step up, but uh, Manitowoc, too much of a rush, and they sack them back outside the 35 yard line. Wow, it's third four. down and long. Yeah. 
It's a long situation, and that's going to be the quarter, Marty. That is the quarter. At the end of three quarters of play, Manitowoc on top, 26 to nothing. Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you wanna get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Get a bond or a bond. Stick it under the mattress. <laughs> you want getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. Spread the word. Ray Smith had a pretty good third quarter, Chris, with uh, 36 yards and eight carries. Kabai straight back, looking. Rifles a throw out and making the catch. I think it was Mertz. Out there was um, Matt Mertz. Well, when you're down 26 to nothing in the fourth and you need two or three yards, you're going for it. Ball is spotted on about the 32-yard line, a 15-yard, pardon me, a, yeah, I'll have to figure that out later. It's fourth down and two. Goodbye, straight back, swings it out to Smith, trying to run over a tackler, but can't, and he's gonna be hit down short of the first down. I believe, Chris, that's the first catch by Ray Smith all season. Eric Hall there delivered that last blow, number 26. Smith was going to try to bowl him over, and you're right, Hall did the, the second damage there. And I think Manitowoc is going to uh, switch up their quarterbacks, too, being up 26 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Nice to see that. Of course, I think it's number 18, which we don't have. Number 10. Oh, 10. That would be Brendan Guile. And he hands it off to Meyer right up the middle. Meyer picks up a yard. No sense getting those boys hurt. That other Battles to be won, and you can, if it gets tight, you can always bring them back in. And off the Dietrichs on the sweep, and uh, that time they don't let him go. Making the tackle was uh, Jeff Zelko. Hit for a loss. Ooh, big loss, two loss of four on that play. Make it third down, 13. Guile straight back looking. Fires over the middle, he's got his receiver. Making a nice move was Mishler. He's down to the 40, the 30, and dropped inside the 25 yard line. Mishler making a good catch and a great run. You're gonna see it right here. Was he down though? That's what I'm curious, but I'll tell you what, South looked like they interfered. They bumped him and then, yeah, he had his knee down, but he scooted right back up and away he went. Wow, come back by us, we'll show you the replay. Good job, Kerry. Ball is gonna be spotted at the 23 yard line. <laughs> 27, 37, 47 yards on that play. 
kid uh, has got to, Guile's got to be pretty happy. Wow. Right down, knocking on the door. One receiver there with four South shirts, and I, like I said, it looked like they banged him a little bit, and then great catch again. Now we Mishler got. Mishler has five catches on the night, Chris, and with that 47 yarder, his total jumps up to uh, 96. Timeout, Manitowoc. I see 10 17 remaining. Manitowoc on top, 26 to nothing. Well, whenever you need a win, you schedule Green Bay West. <laughs> and next week, Sheboygan South gets to travel to Green Bay West. And hopefully that will be the magic formula for this Red Wing team. A couple of fans sitting there talking strategy, I'm sure. You know, what are we gonna run down here <laughs> on this uh, first and 10 at the 23? The other thing and is, the one girl was saying, give it to my son. You know, the other ridiculous thing, I don't mean to keep beating it. Four teams from the Valley have to make the playoffs. Why can't you be one of them? That's you know, right. yeah. Yeah. all you got to do is take care of business and win the rest of your games. You don't even have to do that. You only you could go uh, four and one out. So I mean, Guile under center. And off, we got a clean jersey out there. Chris taking the ball and uh, scooting out of bounds was uh, Richard Zakow. Four and one will get you in the playoffs, and so that's got to be your goal. It starts next week up in Green Bay against West. I think I was looking at the standings the other day. The whole the whole conference is, does not have a lot of wins. Period. <laughs> No, it's uh, except for Notre Dame. There, I believe, ranked third in Division Three. Zacho up the middle again. Check that. I think that was Mason Zick, number 31. Garbage time, Chris. Yep. And uh, ball is spotted at the nine-yard line, so it's going to be first and goal. Six-yard pickup by uh, Zick. Handoff to the running back who's uh, knocked down hard. That was Morgan O'Connell, I believe, number 36. No gain. Second and goal. Guile on the handoff. And trying to battle down was uh, Robert Christensen. Yeah, they got a lot of new kids in there. I'm running out of spaces. Yep. And uh, no gain for Christensen. Third and goal. Yeah, he made be picked up a yard. We'll give the kid a yard. How's that, Chris? I'm easy. Third and eight. Guile on a handoff. Big wall of white. Yeah, but South comes over and makes a stop at about the six yard line. Zacco, I believe, was the uh, ball carrier. That's when you're Manitowoc and you go back to the uh, film and you show the boys. Now, all you guys were out here. Now, just who did you hit? Because <laughs> you're out here, but the red shirts went right through you, and I don't think you even uh, didn't do good enough. <laughs> That's right. My gosh, it was a huge wall for <laughs> I remember in high school, we were doing film study after a game, and <laughs> coach got on one of the tackles. I won't mention names, but oh, man. You could see it. It was right there. He watched the guy right by him and knocked down the ball carrier. <laughs> Guile on the inside handoff to Christensen. He's getting near the end zone. It's a scrum. Can they keep him out? Oh, my. And they're going to blow it dead. 
<laughs> I think Manitowoc was cost a touchdown there by a quick whistle. Oh my. There was just about 16 guys in that little area. <laughs> it's a scrum. <laughs> and they get the ball on the one. Is it that close? <laughs> We're gonna call it the two. We'll give that guy a four yard carry. Uh, <laughs> First and 10, ball on a two. Goodbye makes a good throw and a nice catch made by Mertz. And that time they caught him with his knee down. Yep, well that's because they told the official. You know, when his knee's down. <laughs> yeah, you got to, oh we do. All right, we'll do that. I think Mac got one on the paw. Well, that was about a uh, six yard completion by Kabai. Kabai is three for three, Chris. Seven seventeen. Smith on the sweep. He's not gonna get anywhere. He's gonna be hit for a loss, I believe. Definitely not enough. Ball is spotted on the seven yard line. Smith, I think, uh, had a loss of a yard on that play, Chris. Kabai, two step drop, throws it, and it's knocked down by big number 74, Kyle Bonin. Well, it's fourth down here. You better send your punting unit back out. That would mean white tanks in the game. Six punt, Marty. He's gonna have a sore leg. Dietrichs make, ooh, little bobble, but he did make the catch inside the 40. We're at 6.30 remaining in the ball game. Manitowoc's gonna have a great field position again. Ball spotted at the 38. Last week he had eight punts, Marty, so I think I had him for eight punts last week, so. Mishler is still in the game, number 88. He's been a weapon tonight for uh, Manitowoc. Guile remains at quarterback. I see a lot of running up the middle here, Marty. There's run number one, Zackel, getting stood up and pulled back. And you're still wrestling. Give me that ball. I'll gun it. Ryder getting up off the bottom of the pile. Pick up a one yard. It was a good workout tonight at basketball. We need to get a couple more bodies. You think anybody, any of those guys watch our broadcast? We need players on Friday. <laughs> we just, I liked Wednesday and Friday because I could sweat off some of my summer. Quick look by Guile, he's got Mishler again. But he's not gonna get a whole lot of yards on that reception. No. Building all conference stats there, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not on Mishler a one yard a completion. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I know. give Mishler another catch, that's why he did that. Let's see here, Mishler's got six catches. 97 yards. Hand off to the man in motion. Jared Trainer is not gonna get enough for the first down. Let's 
practice our punt team again. No gain for trainer. It's going to be fourth and eight. Clock running under four minutes and 30 seconds. South on top, 26. South down. South down. What? Well, they didn't even have a score down for South. They got they got nil. <laughs> They're supposed to have a zero there, Kerry. <laughs> Manitowoc on top, 26 to nothing. Casper, I think, I think he should be pulling his starting punter <laughs> for somebody else. Manitowoc guys rubbing it in. Just kidding, Manitowoc. Well, the ships have made hay against Sheboygan this year. A couple of wins early in the conference season. Maybe two shutouts. Kabai still at quarterback. He wanted to pass and he spotted an opening and uh, ran through the line of scrimmage for maybe a pickup of one or two. Hurry up. They're in the hurry up offense. Good one yard on that play. Kabai firing it out to the side, has his man Duquette, and he's wrestled out of bounds. Near the first down marker, but he's gonna be about three yards short. Third down and four. Thought they got a little more than five on that play, Chris, but that's about it. By rolling, rolling, rolling. He's got a deep receiver. Duquette makes a nice catch and he's knocked out of bounds right at the 40 yard line. Kabai buying time. Nice play, rolling. <laughs> 13 yard pickup on that play. Makes it first and 10 for South. Kabai takes it under and takes off, Marty. Oh boy. Nice run by John. Good chunky yardage, two picks up nine. Second down and one. Woo woo. Can't go that fast. Motion. Penalty's gonna be on Manitowoc. Who? Penalty on Manitowoc? Might be their second one tonight. Yeah, not too many on them, but lots of critical ones for South. Ball spotted on the 46 yard line. And another whistle. Oh, and Lancer looked wide open underneath the linebackers, Chris. They're uh, dropping a good seven, eight yards, and Lancer was going to come right underneath them. Well, I think Mantwalk has some uh, new guys out there. and South trying to take advantage and get a score. Yep. Duquette's wide open. Kabai tucks it down, running. Oh, nice tackle made by Wyatt Rutka. We just called his name before. Second down and seven. Quick pass out to the side. Catch is made. By Duquette. Third down and three. Whoop. Off the hands of uh, Zach Duquette. Ball is on the 40 yard line. Flag on the play, Marty. Oh boy. A dead ball. Unsportsmanlike. Manitowoc. First down. All right. 
Two penalties in a row on Manitowoc. Make it a first and 10 south. Ball is gonna be spotted. Oh, it's not a first down, Chris. It's gotta be a first down. Oh, now they're marching it off. Ooh, a big one. Well, this All the way down to the 25. Sounds like somebody did uh, something pretty bad. Well, South was down here in the first quarter and a penalty hurt them. Still remember that Andy Lancer first down that was neglect, neglected by a penalty. High pass is caught. And then being pushed back was Travis Brunette. Second down and eight. Well, make it the, make it a three yard catch. Another flag. They're trying to run a you know a quick offense and uh, they're just piling up the penalties. Now you can go back to the huddle. Clock has stopped briefly. 156 remaining in the ball game. Ball back to the 26 yard line. Still second down. Make it second and 11. Goodbye on the pitch to Smith. He's uh, knocked out of bounds. No gain on that play. Manitowoc read it well. They've done a nice job on him. Very nice. Third down. I know we'll be out of here probably pretty quick tonight, but I'd be curious just how many yards he got tonight. Well, he lost one on that play. Yep. I'll get a shot at Kabai, rolling to the left, firing out over the head of the intended receiver, Matt Mertz. Fourth down. Fourth and 12. Goodbye back. Rolling. That's not going to get a first down. Making a nice catch was Brunette, but he's way short of the first down. That won't do it. And Manitowoc is going to take possession at about the uh, 23 yard line, 24 yard line. Pickup of only three yards on that play. One thirty-four remaining in the ball game. Manitowoc on top, twenty-six to nothing. They led it thirteen to nothing at halftime, and put two more touchdowns on the board in the second half. Zacho, good play out there by Zittle and Bakti. Uh, pardon me, that was uh, Rissy. Yeah. Uh, Bakhti's got his shoulder pads off. He's got some ice on his shoulder from when he got banged up before. Well, next week we travel to the north side. First game over there. See Coach Brixen and the outfit. I saw them play the weekend of Labor Day when we didn't do a game. And North was at Preble tonight. Preble hasn't won a game yet this year no, either. I was going to say, North had a good opportunity to... Uh, West hasn't won a game yet this year. 45 seconds and counting. So, I, like I said, the Valley just seems to not be mounting up a lot of wins, and because of, for some reason, I'm a very strong believer in keeping the Valley the way it is. Next year, we can add Bayport, Nashwabanon, and the Piers into our conference to- That's uh, right. Isn't Pulaski too, right? And Pulaski, holy cow. And those are four really good programs. And a touchdown by Guile, a kneel down I should say. 18 seconds left. That's gonna do it, there'll be no more uh, action tonight. In terms of plays, Manitowoc is gonna win this one by a score of uh, 26 to nothing. Uh, we'll do the wrap up right away, Kerry. Uh, Chris, 
we said that South could help their offense by maybe generating some real nice offensive drives. Of course, that didn't happen. Manitowoc uh, virtually shut down the running game tonight. Yeah, the first drive of the of the ball game, South got off to a real good start. They stopped him on defense, driving down the field, and again that penalty on that Andy Lancer thing stopped. Next possession, they fumbled the ball. South, or excuse me, Mantwalk in went in for that short score. It was 14 to nothing before they knew it, and uh, uh, just kind of like last week, and just couldn't get anything going on offense. And uh, pick up a win next week, and uh, at Green Bay West, and come back home. And as I said before. You just gotta win four to five to make the playoffs, boys. There's still time left in your season. Ray Smith had 64 yards, Chris. Uh, certainly didn't get the running game going. Uh, the passing game, uh, too little. Uh, they couldn't get any long gainers out there. Manitowoc was really tough tonight. That's gonna do it for our broadcast. Uh, for the crew, Brian Andrews on the field camera. Steve Reiner up on top. Kerry Kultzer in the truck spinning the dials. I'm Mike Martin for my partner Chris Wright saying so long everybody. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you down the road.